So this is the temporal bone. This is the temporal bone squamous surface. On the temporal bone squamous surface, this would be the zygomatic process, but it's been broken off. The zygomatic process would protrude from here that way. And then this is the mastoid part. So this is the mastoid part. The mastoid part has a mastoid process, which is this protrusion of the mastoid part. This is the zygomatic process. On the zygomatic process, this is called the articular tubercle of the zygomatic process. Remember, this was the squamous, squamous surface of the temporal bone. This was the zygomatic process. This is the articular tubercle. Then you've got the mastoid um, part and the mastoid process. This thing is called the external acoustic meatus around the external acoustic meatus from the external acoustic meatus you've got the um, mandibular fossa which is this part from the mandibular fossa this is the articular mandibular fossa and this is just you know the rest this is um, the tympanic part and this is the petrous part this is the tympanic part so this one is called so this is remember that this was the mastoid part so this part has a fissure over here this is tympanic Part. So this is going to be called tympanomastoid fissure and this is going to be called the petrotympanic fissure. Petrous part, tympanic part, petrotympanic fissure. This is the apex of the petrous part. Now let's look at the um, posterior surface. Pause, stop the